Welcome back, Vault Hunters. Dirch here, and I've got another uh, mod video for you guys today. Violent Knight has created a skill and com overhaul for the UCP. So this works in tandem with the UCP. This is available for everyone on PC right now. So as you would get any other mods, you go to GitHub and you can download them. I have the links in the description below as well as instructions. So this does run on top of the UCP. There are instructions and the uh, link that includes all the changes to it. And it will walk you through how to properly do that. You do need the filter tool. You do uh, need to merge these uh, uh, these mods. Um, I am having one little small issue with it. It could be something I'm doing on my end where I don't think the skill changes are working, at least not on zero, but the comms are. So... We're just going to run with the comms because uh, Zero only had a few changes to his skills. And although I don't have them working now, there is, uh, I think, Velocity moved up. And there are some changes of position. And then um, Precision also gained Recoil Reduction. I'm not seeing those changes made. So uh, that could be on my end that I did something wrong. But the class mods are. And that's what I really want to cover because that's a little bit more interesting, at least on Zero. I'll try to get the skill changes to work because some other characters had more major skill changes. This isn't uh, a rework as aggressive as uh, making the skills kind of look like, skill trees look like TPS like some of them. It's just some tweaks to values and placements and to make things a little bit better, uh, which is still really nice. I don't mean to demean that. All the, All these mods are incredible. So let's talk about the class mods, which I'm really here for, and uh, you guys can get a hint at what I might be trying by looking at my loadout there. So first one is we have a legendary rogue. This is pretty cool. This is a brand new one, and I'm pretty pumped about it. So you get fire rate, magazine size, and shield capacity. Uh, outside of sniper mag size, zero doesn't have any buffs there, so that's very cool. And 47% is a healthy number. Uh, shield capacity to make them a little more tanky. I like that. Um, skills, we are boosting Two Fang, which works really nice with a lot of guns for Zero, uh, especially, you know, the Rogue Com, fittingly, is kind of your a gun com. Um, velocity is always nice, um, unless you have bullet split guns. Precision, which is nice for guns with a spread, as you see, I have um, two guns with a spread in my backpack here, or equipped, not in my backpack. Um, fast hands, which is nice for swapping, and Grim. Grim has not been boosted before, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, Grim is a pretty great skill that uh, regenerates your shield. It's kind of like uh, Inertia on Maya, and it helps with your cooldown. So this will get your cooldown back faster, which really helps your survival, because uh, you get some health and stuff back during that, and you know people don't see you, so they are less likely to hit you. And getting that shield back really helps his your survival because he has very low survival skills. So uh, pretty pumped about that. Um, like I said, fast hands here. You know, reload speed and swap speed. That is very sweet, especially for Jacob's guns, which you see I have equipped once again. Um, Two Fang works great, especially with Jacob's shotguns. Uh, velocity, you know, more damage, bullet speed. Uh, all that stuff is cool, and precision really helps um, your spreads. So I'm thinking this with Grim and the additional shield capacity might be able to work with the Orphan Maker for zero. Typically, zero is one of those characters that struggles with the Orphan Maker because he's so squishy, and it's a cool gun, so I'm thinking this might make it work, and I'm pretty pumped. So uh, I definitely like that. But let's cover the other one. So, Legendary Survivor. So, we actually have kind of a tanky Zero class mod here. I think this is pretty interesting. Um, gun damage is actually minus. Um, second Wind Health and Second Wind Time are there. Uh, Iron Hand, Fearless, Like the Wind, Counter Strike, and Rising Shot. So, uh, let's look at these. So counter shot, um, you know, you get hit and you do more damage. Fearless, if you take damage, you uh, or you lose your shield, you get a little uh, stronger. Uh, rising shots, a good DPS skill, which you need something. Um, well moving, you deal increased melee damage and gun damage, 
and increases maximum damage and health. This one I don't quite get, and I'm not saying it's bad. Uh, I'd have to play around with it. Um, a lot of these were built around synergies, and I'm not just I'm not quite grasping this one. Um, it's almost like making him like Krieg, where you like want to take damage. Is this like a Rough Rider? Hmm. Because, yeah, with that Rough Rider, your gun damage is down, you do that. Counter Strike, you deal, but it's melee. Hmm. I'm not sure how that one works, to be honest, but uh, I'm not uh, counting it out. Uh, Legendary Sniper, this one is a pretty nice rework, I believe. So, you got your gun damage and crit damage like always. You lose your shield capacity, but you also get a uh, sniper ammo regen, which is really nice. Uh, especially with the CA rework from UCP. That's really going to make CA uh, more friendly for people. Um, skill wise, Grim. Grim is again a great skill that Zero really needed, and this will really help that uh, the build survive. Innervate. Um, I actually really like this because. Yes, it's only when deceptions open, but uh, or on. But movement speed is great. But the healthier zero doesn't have a lot of healing, so this is very, very welcome. And then you do have increased gun damage, which plays great with all of uh, zero's critical skills, which you know snipers need. So at one with a gun is a great one to get boosted as well. That hip uh, hip shot accuracy is huge. The mag and the reload are huge. Uh, that's fantastic. One shot, one kill is really nice. Now, some snipers prefer not to have this. Because if they're doing like Liuda and stuff, you don't get it that often. But you can always just toss one point in there and then move on. Um, and then headshot, is, you know, that makes a whole lot of sense because, you know, critical hit damage. Some people probably would have preferred killer. But I like the loss of precision and velocity because... A lot of sniper builds want to use the Pimp and Liuta, and Velocity doesn't work with them. Uh, precision you just don't need on a sniper build. So moving those two off, I think it was a very good uh, very good call. So overall, I really like this comm. We've got the Legendary Killer, which again is one of his kind of neutral uh, gun build comms. So team critical hit or critical damage, and team accuracy. So those are two very nice buffs. Uh, looking at the skills here, both headshot and killer, fantastic. You know, a lot of critical hit, a lot of reload. This is great. Velocity, again, solid. There's less splitting guns you have a problem with outside of sniping. Uh, I mean, there are some, but typically velocity is pretty good. And you get a small boost to uh, both crit and gun damage. So you're really building up your DPS. Ambush is one of his best skills because this is a multiplicative skill. And Zero gets it quite often when he's in Deception and stuff. So, Or if you're playing co-op, it's always on. And uh, Two Fang. So this is like a pure DPS comm. Um, very potent. Um, I love the addition of accuracy. Now, I would try this with, the, with like a shotgun build, but not the Orphan Maker. Um, because of the self damage, I really like that grim. But yeah, that killer com is looking strong. Um, ninja melee damage and swap speed. Swap speed is very cool because you're always swapping from the grog to the rapier or to other guns. Um, so that's a very welcome bonus to that. And we are all here. Killing blows, you know, obviously perfect. You want that. Um, shut up, zero. I'm talking. Uh, follow through is always great. Uh, you always want that movement speed and you get melee damage. Uh, melee damage here. Uh, and backstab is a pretty big one. Uh, resurgence. Uh, this is kind of cool. It gives you a little less dependence on the moxie guns possibly. And again, like the wind, not bad. So I'm trying to think where I would move some of these, but yeah, I really like this. Because I think Iron Hand used to be on it, which was kind of wasted. Um, some people, I believe, are not the biggest fans of Like the Wind, because it's kind of janky how it works. 
So that would be the one if I would move to something else. It would probably be that. Um, you know, again, Counter Strike. That might be OP to also do Counter Strike or Ambush with it. But uh, actually, Innervate would be sweet. Combine boosted Innervate with uh, Follow Through, which is just insane speed. Uh, but that would be my only critique on that. Not saying it obviously has to move. I'm not the melee expert, so you know, melee players, let me know what you think of this compared to the old one. I think it's a nice improvement, especially that swap speed. I think that's really smart. Uh, I already did survivor, sniper, rogue, killer. So we're on to the hunter, which was his standard com. Uh, cooldown, critical hit, and reload. All right, that all sounds good. So it used to be kind of just straight across the top. Um, and now it's been moved around. So follow through. Killing blow is always on there. Um, but it used to have iron hand and now it has follow through. Follow through is obviously much better. Um, the damage, the movement speed, follow through is a sweet skill. Uh, rising shots, an awesome DPS skill. Yes, it's additive, but, um, the damage really adds up, and yeah, great skill. Again, Ambush, Multiplicative, fantastic. Fast Hands, fantastic. Uh, precision. So this is always a generalist com. Now, this used to have... Where is that? It still does. So using Deception instantly restores 10% of your max health. That's always a big deal with it. So that is all good. Um... Let's see. So precision, fast hands, rising shot, ambush, killing blow, and follow through. So it's another general. It's common. Uh, you know, violent. If you're watching, um, what were your kind of ideas on some of these? So the one thing I'm slightly confused on. I like all these. They all seem good, but we have. Um, between this, the rogue, and the killer, they all kind of seem like, well, maybe the killer is more based for shotguns or something. It's hard to tell, like, they're all different, but they're all, like, generalist comms, which is nice, and it's given you variety in different builds, but I'm wondering if any of these were kind of designed towards a certain thing, because, like, this almost seems... With Killing Blow, it almost seems like melee hybrid. Between Follow Through and Killing Blow, Ambush works with melee. Uh, precision on here seems to kind of be a weird odd man out. Um, I don't really get that inclusion on it where that kind of fits. But uh, yeah, um, you know, Killer seems a little more crit boat. Uh, base because you get this crit bonus but you also have headshot and killer and velocity which all boost crits um so you know if you're using a lady fist or a bitch or some crit based guns this thing is going to really crank up your critical hit damage sometimes two fang plays a little janky with recoil on crit based builds but um i don't think it's that bad um yeah and then the rogue, I mean, the rogue to me instantly struck out as something a little more tanky for a, um, a generalist build, including both a Grim and a Shield boost. So that I'm pretty excited to play with. And uh, I guess I'm going to start playing with that now that I've gone through them all. So I'm probably going to leave on my general stuff here. Um, or do I do, I'm going to try this with the deputy's badge instead of a bone because I'm sick of the bone. Um, I'm mainly going to be using the orphan maker, so I'm going to crank the damage up a little bit, get my reload going, and hopefully the cooldown from boosted grim is going to be enough. So let's just start with the center tree here. So, whoops, fast hands is kind of an obvious one. Uh, ambush, death mark. So rising shot, I don't think I'm going to get that much out of that using Jacobs. So I'm only going to put four in there. Typically I would max that out, but uh, I want to max out Innervate. And there we go. Um, and this one, I uh, definitely want headshot. 
I'm actually going to go over here first. Typically, I go with Killing Blow, but I'm going to go with Iron Hand because I'm using the Orphan Maker and see if that actually helps some survivability. Now, I'm going to try to get a fifth point in here, but I don't know how many points I'm going to spend, so I'm saving that point. Execute, I don't always use, but it's nice to have. So I want to max out this, I want to max out that, I want to max out this. And I don't have the extra point for that. All right. I didn't think I would. So now I should be very accurate. Uh, wow, that Skull Masher. Uh, you can tell if you leave bullet decals. That is a pretty tight spread. And... So you can kind of see how much damage that uh, is doing on self-damage. Let's uh, go ammo up here. I gotta get that uh, part of it that uh, gets all my ammo on one click. All right. Um, where do we want to go try this out on is the question. Uh, bloodshot is always good. Been doing a lot of rust yards lately, but that's kind of some weird crit enemies I don't know if I want to fuck with. Uh, yeah, let's try them bloodshot. Don't know if I really want to go up against assassins quite yet, uh, being that I just threw this together. Oh shit, you know what? I am not going to use this. I'm going to put a slag pimp on. God, look at that swap speed. And that works. Okay. Uh, getting this health back works. On kill. So, so far, so good. The theory that's working well. I haven't even had to use deception or much slag. Oh shit. Holy fuck, this thing is insane. Oh. That was a bad shooting. And dead. Oh, nope. Okay, that guy seemed to be a little tricky. I should not shoot barrels with this thing. That is very irresponsible. some crits here. Okay, Antagonist is doing some good work. Do not like that guy up there. Oh, shit. Do not want to come down here. Oh shit. Damn it. That was bad. Is there just him up there? And I'm not gonna get this kill. Or am I? Oh fucking clutch! Okay, that was fucking cool. Alright, I'm gonna back up and get rid of that barrel, because it's going to blow up on me. I want to keep them slagged. Alright, let's just get some poor action on these guys. Alright, 
right, you just come close to me. Oh, fuck me. I thought I had that. God, this thing does so much damage. Alright, can you give me anything to shoot at? Having some fight for my life issues, but I'm doing alright. So here I'm just going to chuck some grenades because I need health. There we go, I got plenty. You gotta be a little careful with this too, just, you know, spamming it, you can still get yourself in trouble. Oh, god damn it. Shielded guys are a pain in the butt. Alright. Alright, I've got another guy behind me that I don't like. Oh, fuck. That, you know, I slag myself. And then I take a shitload of damage. Because the antagonist. So this should... Um, I should use a different shield. This would be better off with a blockade. But, uh, the, yeah, the shield's holding up fairly well, but I am getting self-slagged, and I think that's what I'm going down. Huh. Oh, barrel, I don't want to be by. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got sloppy there, too. I took some damage and wasn't watching. So it's a bit like playing with fire. Oh, come on. What is next? But I think I could get it uh, working pretty smoothly. So there, I decided not to shoot him. Because uh, I swear I had a uh, slag on me. Where are you? Alright, so I am self slagged. I want to be careful. There we go. The knockback and kill. I don't use it often enough for specking into it. So, yeah, definitely uh, changed to a blockade to make myself tankier. Um, particularly a fast one, not my buy a bandit one. Alright, so let's, uh... Oh, fuck! No, no, no! Did I just get knocked into the whirlpool? I don't know if that's ever happened to me before. That's why you throw your decoy to the side, you fucking amateur zero player dirch. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. Alright, now this guy is getting re I'm getting revenge on him first. I was gonna kill the other guy. Oh shit. And a big guy there. So this is all like terrible right now. I'm actually going to back up and kite him in here. Alright, keep your head still. Shit, that was fucking close. Alright, so the Orphan Maker can still be quite scary. Especially when uh, you don't have a kill skill up. When I have my kill skills, it's fine. 
But as soon as they go down, it's uh, kind of scary. Alright, where is this other guy? He's up there somewhere. Well, this is fun so far. I'm digging this. Like right there, it comes back fast enough. You're all good. This one's going to be scary because I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get dots. There's a lot of barrels I'm scared of. I really don't like this area. I do not like this guy with that weapon, so he is first priority. How the hell did he not get slagged? Okay. I'm definitely enjoying the movement speed, the follow through. The, oh, I saw a slate gun. But this guy is just too close not to kill. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I was going to try to not use my uh, Orphan Maker there. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, fuck, and I got nobody close. Alright, I think I'm just dying here. Like a scrub. Oh, shit. One more shot, I would have had him. I saw that bomber just too late, and I could not... Uh, I tried to jump away, but I jumped up too much and not far back. So yeah, got myself in a bad spot. Apologize about that. That was sloppy play. So the Orphan Maker is still high risk, high reward on zero. Um, yeah. But I'm enjoying this. I still think he... I think he'd just be better off with a coach gun, to be honest. I gotta be careful. Because this... I don't know which enemy is going to spawn Mad Mike. So I want to be up here and ready. Oh. Alright, so it's going to be the other guy. Alright, so there he is. Alright, so that was me actually learning my lessons and stop shooting. And this is why boar isn't always that great. You can see, like, enemies just, they don't stay nicely lined up for it. Um, part of me thinks for a really great Jacob shotgun com, if this thing had one shot, one kill... Not saying this is a comp just built for Jacob's shotguns, but god damn it, I fucking hate this map sometimes. Um, but that is a kind of a playstyle people like with Zero. And I think if this com just had one shot, one kill, it would be like the perfect um, like shotgun ninja com, maybe. Because the boosted Grim really negates the the need for a bone to get your cooldowns there's a nice bore opportunity um you know and that's a nice thing that you don't always get and the swap speed is great the reload speed uh, bonuses but what would you change yeah, if Velocity went to one shot, one kill, this would be a perfect Jacob shotgun comp to zero, I think. I and mean, someone could make the argument headshot or killer 
because Jacob shotguns love crits. But uh, I think the one shot one kill um, would be perfect. So again, not saying that has to change. Some people would disagree with me, and that is totally cool. I am definitely not always right, and I'm not saying it has to. But uh, that would be a pretty uh, sweet ass uh, like deputy deputy zero com. I don't know if it'd be broken. I don't think so. It'd be pretty good though. Oh no! So in reborn, there would have been a chest there. There's not. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch to just a coach gun. And let's uh, see the difference in damage output for zero. Well, that guy uh, did not get crit at all by me. Oh, shit. And get out of the way. So that was a bad uh, first example, but uh, we'll continue on and see how this does. Alright, so I'm just going to chuck some grenades out there. Hopefully get some more. Come on, transfusion. Um, doesn't feel stronger, feels safer. Alright, I need this dot to wear off, and I need to identify... Okay, that enemy has it. I was thinking it was the guy up there. So I'm actually going to play this smart. Okay, had to take him up. That was a nice bore, but he didn't instant blow up. Um, damage wise, the Orphan Maker doesn't seem that much more powerful. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, this guy's not coming down, which means I have to go up. But that uh that hit pretty hard. Yeah, on zero I still prefer the coach gun, I think. The to the orphan maker. You can just spam it so fast. A ghost amidst the combat. Preparing to strike. Got greedy trying to get some four there. That's, uh, again, what I was talking about in my uh, boar video. Alright. One more down. Yeah, the, the coach gun feels way tankier. And what's nice is Zero before didn't really have any tanky uh, gameplay styles, and now he kind of feel like he does a little bit. Um, but not in a broken, like, you can't kill him way. I mean, the Orphan Maker, I was killing myself like crazy. Um, had a lot of fight for my life there. Again, no good boar lineups. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the coach gun is just so good on zero. Always love it. Um, I would stop and get that chest, but I just want to go kill some people, and there's a few more enemies here. So I'm going to go murder them quick, and we'll call that a run. Um, Orphan Maker on zero, still kind of tough. You can definitely pull it off. It would take some practice and discipline. But this coach gun on him is just so good that it's hard to justify it. Okay.
God, it's so good. Yeah, definitely love that coach. Um, yeah, but if you if a velocity swapped to, I I would actually even be willing to go if it went to either killer. That may be really kill skill dependent, but that that and Grim, but a killer or one shot one kill. I think would really kick this com up a notch, but I don't know if it's designed to be a shotgun com. Uh, let's just look at the other ones quick, because maybe one of these other ones was designed for that, and I'm missing it. Um, Hunter. So we got precision on there again. Rising shot wouldn't work that great. Ambush, fast hands, and follow through. That would still be solid, but I don't think as good as the rogue. Although the fire rate doesn't do anything for it either. Um, but the mag does. Uh, legendary killer. Now this one would be pretty insane. You don't get that precision, but headshot, killer, velocity, two fang, and ambush. I mean, that's just insane DPS. And you do get accuracy from the comm. So that would be crazy with shotguns. Um, the survivor, not much. So it's really between these three. It's close between the killer and the rogue. I kind of like the rogue because you're up close and personal, and I don't like to use Moxie. And uh, you can see from this with the Orphan Maker, I was you know getting hurt uh, when my shield was going down. I didn't get kills, and sometimes when your shield goes down, you need to get a kill to get Grim, but you're scared to use the Orphan Maker. But with the Coach Gun, there is none of that concern, and you can just see the spread on this thing is really uh, pretty decent with this class mod. And turning it into a three shot is pretty sweet when you get all that procking. Um, so yeah, I really uh, like these uh, comm changes. Uh, had a little feedback there, but uh, part of the fun of doing all these is also getting all of your feedback. So, you know, you guys watching, let me know what you think. Uh, what you think about the comms. I'm not the most experienced Zero out there, so I'm sure there's some good feedback. Um, for more experience with zero, uh, zero players out there, which is very welcome. I'm pretty sure uh, Violent Knight's going to be watching this. So, uh, you know, your feedback will be heard. And uh, that's always good. So let me uh, just go check this chest before I sign off here. See if we got any cool loot, because that's always fun. And, uh, yeah, I, I do like playing Zero, though. I need to play him more often. Get a little more practice with him. I just don't have the, like, minutia of Zero play. Hmm. Kind of a cool chest. So, yeah. That is the, uh, the com, UCP, uh, com tweaks. Uh, there are the skill tweaks that, uh, for some reason, I might have done something wrong to screw it up, so I apologize about that, but... On the zero, like I said, it was a placement of skills that wouldn't have changed anything in my build. And then precision would have had, instead of 5% per level, 6%. So precision would have been a little bit higher. And it would have uh, also helped with some recoil. Which actually would have helped a little bit. Uh, especially on a Jacob's build. So I think that would be very cool. Um, as always, thanks for watching everyone. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed because uh, I had fun doing this. Even though I... <laughs> I had uh, two pretty awesome deaths, which I'm usually ashamed of dying, but uh, whatever. It happens. We live with it. In fact, I'm just going to do a sacrificial uh, repeat. Center mass there. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you guys have not yet subscribed, please do so. I always appreciate that. Hit the little notification bell. I appreciate when you share my videos. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, and come join the Discord and all of that jazz. Uh, that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.